Just a few days ago, the Sri Lankan Navy stopped these people trying to get to Australia. They're desperate to escape the economic crisis and say they have to risk the dangerous journey. More than 300 have attempted to leave on boats in the past month. People who are educated can't find jobs. We don't have food to eat. We know this is not the legal route, but we're risking the lives of our children because we have no other choice. Sujit's children, his niece and other relatives were on board another boat that was turned around. We don't know what will happen in the middle of the sea, but they don't have a life here anymore. The Australian government helped the Sri Lankan Navy set up these patrols. This boat was donated by the Australian government uh, in 2014 and we also have another boat. The Navy looks for fishing trawlers, the vessel of choice for people smugglers. For the asylum seekers, the journey takes weeks. There's no toilet or fresh water and food rations are limited. Two Sri Lankan boats were the subject of a controversial text message and press conference by the Liberal Party on election day. Puapali was on one of those boats and says he was told by people smugglers it's easier to get to Australia now. The people smuggling agents said the Australian government will change. The future government is a good government and they will let you inside the country. The new Labor government supports boat turnbacks and has released a new series of online videos aimed at Sri Lankans. We're having takebacks uh, where appropriate and uh, we have said uh, that Operation Sovereign Borders uh, remains in place. Here at the Colombo Court, there are hundreds of relatives of people who were on the most recent boat, which was caught trying to get to Australia. We've been waiting for hours with them for this court hearing. There's a lot of desperation, a lot of concern about the future for these people who are now facing criminal charges in Sri Lanka. My appeal to the Government of Australia is to welcome the refugees who are coming in boats and give them jobs. Please assist Sri Lanka in our time of need. An Australian Border Force spokesman has told the ABC only the most vulnerable people applying to be recognised as refugees will be resettled. Avani Dias, ABC News, Colombo.